Guys, I just ordered stuff. Ow. Oh god, it's falling everywhere already. I tried to do a cool JPerm intro where like they fall out of the box, but they just went everywhere, so that didn't really work. Holy crap, that is a lot of puzzles. <laughs> But most importantly, I ordered this the day before Valentine's Day, so I got this heart thing, but now it's like almost the end of February. But anyway, it's still nice, feels very good, yeah. Wait, where do I even begin? Ah, that sounds good. Oh, and I also have this, which, oh my gosh, the camera angle, but we'll get to that later. All right, let's start with this. This is the Shengshao Crazy 4x4. So I made a documentary about real puzzles. If you haven't go see that, go look at that now. It's a cool video documentary about real puzzles. Wow, this is huge actually. Basically a real puzzle is a uh, bigger n by n where all the pieces exist because they'd be missing like internal pieces. But this has the internal pieces. It just like shows them on the surface using these circles. And there is a lot of lube on this thing. But yeah, the thing is, so you can't turn the circles because it's not how the mechanism works. The circles stay in place, sort of. Okay, well, a corner cut's good enough, I guess. So that's fun. Maybe I'll do some uh, real puzzle speed solving. Hope you can read Chinese. No, that joke is overdone. I know, I know. Interesting. It has strange notation and, and, and strange algorithms. So that's fun. All right, next, this thing sort of reminded me of a real 5x5, but I don't think it actually is, and I didn't know how it turns, so I just said, you know what, add to cart. And by the way, guys, if you ever decide to add to the cart, then make sure to use the discount code ROWAN to save 5% off. Okay, so what is this? Is this just a real 5x5? Why does that turn two of them? No. Can you turn just that middle slice? You can. I now own two real puzzles. The four x four is bigger than the five x five here. That's that's actually crazy. Oh wait, it's missing the outside five x five centers or something. I don't know what's happening with this. It's cool though, I'll solve it later. All right, these pentahedron towers were like super popular for some reason. I've been seeing them all over the place. So let's see if, they're, if they live up to the hype. I assume they're gonna be like easy peasy, absolutely easy. Whoa, it's so big and weird, what the heck? Well, I assume it's gonna be like super easy and, and definitely just like trivial. All right, let's give it a solve. So far, it's quite easy. It's the same as like a three by three by two. Um, insert this corner here. And then, hmm. Oh, it's not trivial because triangles are small. Interesting, let's let's open the three x three version. Ah, so it looks like it fell apart in the box. That's a good sign. Well, it's easy enough to put back together, so. So this one I should be able to figure out the uh, parity. Ooh, it doesn't turn, turn as well. How can I do that? Maybe like that? Okay, so we got like a block here. Then I just need to add this side, really. Three corners left, but I assume doing a cycle like that is like impossible, right? So you have to use like FTO strategies. Okay, so that's so this par parity here is what's happening with uh, this one, I suppose, I guess. Aha! Oh, well now it's just like a U-perm thing. Oh, I accidentally did it. Let's go. So they're kind of easy. Uh, I'll do that later. Next up, the Chi uh, O2 spot cube. I don't know what this thing's called, but technically, it is a one by one by one by two hyper cuboid if you put two new stickers on it, a pink sticker and a purple sticker. So if I had stickers with me, I'd put a purple sticker on the inside and that would be like the, I'll put a picture on screen of a virtual one by one by one by two. But anyway, it's a four dimensional cuboid. And if I put pink and purple stickers on this, it would technically match the same puzzle state space which is kind of fun. It's sort of like a weird little one by one, easy, trivial thing, but it's kind of funny. So, so yeah, so you can rotate the inner one like a cube and you can rotate the outer one like a cube, I guess also. So that's pretty funny. One by one by one by two, also known as the O2 cube. Okay, this is the, uh, the yeet ball. Maybe if I can open it. So the yeet ball was like a popular meme of a name that Something something with Tingman? I don't know, Tingman's awesome. Go subscribe to Tingman Aww. if you're not already subscribed. I believe this is just an Ivy Cube, except <laughs> except it's the Yeet Ball. Ivy Cube is basically just a skew, but easy mode. 
All right, I've solved the corners, but it's just so weird when it looks like a sphere. Uh, and now I can kind of just put random edges in maybe. And oh, actually I solved itself. There you go. That's the yeet ball, which is a very good at being a ball. Anyway, it comes with a little stand instruction manual, I guess, if you really need it, but that's pretty trivial. Wait, guys, I literally just realized that this thing only has four layers here. I thought it had five. So this is actually like a multi puzzle or something. I don't even know. Uh, so we have these two things from a brand that I've never heard before. So wind talkers, what's a wind talker? Who knows? Ooh, this thing is so tiny. Aww. So this is, I believe a rhombic dodecahedron. Wow, I've never held an actual rhombic dodecahedron by myself before, like in my own hands. But actually, I think this is just a three by three shape mod. It only turns around the four vertices, right? It doesn't turn around the three vertices. So how many four vertices are there? One, six. So it turns around six sides, and because there are four vertices, you know, one, two, three, four. So six sides, have to turn it four times. Hmm, what puzzle does that remind you of? So I think this is a three by three, so that's pretty cool. I'll solve it later. And then we have this thing. Oof, I've been wanting to get into edge turning puzzles for a very long time, but I never have because they just look so daunting. So this is my first ever curvy, scurvy cop, curvy plus, I don't know what it's called. Curvy copter, helicopter cube, no idea. Oh God, edge turning puzzles are so cursed. The weird thing about this is that it's got like symmetry and stuff. So, oh no. Oh no, why? why? Why they do this? Dear Lord. So one of these days, I want to try and solve this with no help, no tutorial of any kind. So I'll probably make a video about that in the future. And next, I have a lot of different tetrahedral puzzles here, and this is pretty cool. So these two are the Orphix, Orphixes, Orphix, or Master Orphix, and Mini Orphix. I don't know, the Orphix things, you know? And then here, we have the like Jing's Pyraminx. Um, or HMT or something. I forgot what it's called, but there's a series of pyramid things like this And then there's a series of pyramid things like this and they're fundamentally different mechanisms. So they're different so Let's start with um, these two. So at first you try and turn it like a pyramid so you're like, hmm Why doesn't this turn right? Hmm. So this is an edge turning puzzle, right? So how many edges does a pyramid have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. You know what else turns around six? things. I mean, it's so it's just a three by three, but it don't look like that, but it is. So I'll, I'll have to solve this eventually, but it turns nicely. I'll give that a solve later. And next up we have the three by three version. So it has the centers to guide, you, except they're not centers. Those aren't centers. Those are corners, right? These, these are the centers. Solved. One, two, three, four. So, hmm, four turns, six different places to turn, and four twists will get you back. I wonder what puzzle that reminds me of. So yeah, these are actually just three by threes, except they look scary, so I'm a bit scared, but I'll try them later. Finally, we have the Jing's Pyramid series. These are called Magic Towers for some reason. Uh, Luna suggested me to get these on the Hypercubers Discord server, so I don't really know what I'm getting myself into. So it's like a pyraminx, but with like different cuts. And how the heck would one solve this? Wonderful, t wonderful turning. I'm sure I will solve that later. And then we have the 4x4 version. Let's get this open here. Comes with a massive instruction manual. Whoa, that's spoilers. I don't want to look at those. Ah, I gotta cover those instruction manuals up so I don't spoil it for myself. Why did puzzles come with instruction manuals? They should have like a warning on the front of it that says that it's a spoiler. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is, this is the 4x4 version. It turns all right. It looks like this is based on a five layer mechanism. So that's why there's these weird pieces that are sort of not supposed to be pieces. It turns fine. It's all right. I will solve that later. And finally, we just have the five layer one, six plus. Oh, that's ages six and up. Wow. I'm almost 20 years old. Why am I playing with these? Anyway, whoa, more spoilers. Cover up the instruction manual. I don't want to see that. And this is the five layer one. So it has five layers instead of four or three. Strange, strange things these are. I'm sure I'll solve them eventually and I'll solve them later. Finally, I have the GAN mosaic cube set that's just too big to fit in my camera. This is a 10 by 10 version. So I'll make some cool stuff with this maybe. 
Little update guys, I did the mosaic and it's pretty fantastic and I went with a skull emoji because I don't know, why not? So, you can buy all of these wonderful puzzles at thecubicle.com using the discount code ROWAN to save 5% off your order. And if you order soon, then you will get your puzzles soon too.